morning everybody I don't know what happened yesterday uh, my video cut off uh, it said I had a storage issue it's kind of hard to do because I've got a 32 gigabyte card in my phone so I took out a lot of old pictures and stuff and I'm gonna try to continue with what I was discussing um, I had this is Tuesday by the way I had the piping hooked to split between the table and the tower and it wasn't giving the tower enough um, water it just had no pressure to circulate the water to make it do what it was supposed to do so I separated those and put a pump on the tower and um, so that's why this was like this because I had the tower at the end of the table here before I put the shade cloth and everything up and uh, it was just going like a straight and then into the tower like it is there it was at, these were actually this pipe here was actually taller um, so but it works out better this way I've got better venturi action in the table and the tower obviously is very happy so since yesterday's video and I hate to say this is part B because again I don't know what the heck happened um, we've got a heck of a lot more growth um, I've got uh, flowering everywhere isn't that cool and I know my conversation is a little bit disjointed I wanted to show you the piping I did the same thing to this table underneath this board here is another um, valve and of course on the end I've got another drain valve and I generally use these um, these drain valves to fill buckets for adding nutrition to the trees um, or these guys or my guys up on the picnic table look at how happy they are deep green Oof, I don't know if you can see that but it's beautiful up there I expect those guys to start going nuts now I have had to uh, trim back the zucchini because again it's trying to overpower the tomatoes and the green beans but um, it's just progressing remember this the shot in the last video the video a showed these guys and they were so tiny about the size of this one and now look that's what a day a whole day and now the zucchini has started to do its thing finally <laughs> oh look we got the blossoms and somewhere in there I actually have one zucchini so far started but I can tell it's kind of hard to not disturb the plant so much look at that guy right there can you see him right here let me see if I can touch it I can't right there mm, mm, mm. and in one day in one day look at the difference in the tower this is a lettuce that I added from the table and this guy is a lettuce that I added from the table and they're just loving it loving it um, the kale is loving it I do have a couple of other See, this, this looks like more Napa cabbage. I'm going to have to move him to the table. I've got three of those. I do have a couple of trouble spots over here. Of course, you know about these guys. They just, I guess, maybe too much water. I don't know why they're not happy. Everybody else is happy. Um, this guy, if you look, for some reason his roots are too far. Let me focus that are too far um, out of the peat pellet that's probably because when I was germinating um, I let them grow too tall and when I put them in the peat pellet uh, to germinate them I just I just let them go for too long before I planted them out into the tower um, same thing could be affecting these may affect these guys Okay, they're very tall for seedlings. These guys are, are on target. 
just coming out of the top of the peak pellets. But this one may have may be too tall and their root system may end up popping out like that one and causing a little bit of trouble. Um, this is another example of the same thing. He was too tall and now his root system is a little bit extended out. Um, I can only do so many of these things in a day. <laughs> so uh, I'll just have to live with it and try to make sure I, uh, when I germinate um, plants um, that I um, get them in the tables earlier or in the tower earlier. This guy might look like he's struggling. He's not. He's a slow He's a slow grower because this is a tree. Yes, a tree. I am growing a tree in hydroponics. Now, I've read a whole bunch of stuff online that the usual crops are lettuce, um, kale, spinach, stuff like that. As you can see by what I'm demonstrating here is that you can grow just about anything with hydroponics. Now they caution you because um, plants require different levels of nutrition, different levels of um, pH, and I'm here to tell you that at a pH of six, six and a half, most plants will thrive. Now I do have some necrosis because this guy doesn't like the high level of nutrition and of course we had that pH problem but look at the leaves now they're gorgeous because I fixed the pH they're just doing very well they're not curling so much anymore and they're just popping everywhere which is going to support all the babies that are growing um, the bok choy has a little bit of curl a little bit of um, edge of the leaf there but he's dark and green and he's growing like crazy so I'm not worried so much about it oh I wanted to show you the broccoli I don't have any more diggers because I clipped off the leaves that had diggers in them so as I find the diggers um, I'll clip off those leaves trim them out and uh, <laughs> no pest no no pest chemicals were ever used in this table if I have to use something, I'm thinking, I don't want to use neem oil. I ain't shocking you, but everybody says, use neem oil, use neem oil. It's about the best you can get for natural uh, uh, pest control. It's not. It is not. Um, you can use all kinds of different things. I was actually thinking about using um, the Dawn soap and very very light vinegar and the reason why I say that is because a little bit of vinegar can um, raise your acidity um, in your table and it's actually used as a pH balancer a natural one but too much of vinegar can kill everybody you can actually if you had a full strength vinegar bottle go along your driveway spray it on the weeds and the weeds will die so you have to be very careful with vinegar um, I haven't done my pH today if I had a little phone holder I would probably show you how I do it I just have the litmus paper for now I've got a digital that I'm going to order here and um, I use a TDS or EC meter right there to uh, check my levels. Um, the tower, like I said, because of the leaks, I have to add nutrition quite frequently. And um, I'm just so excited. Look at the, all, the, all the activity I've got going on here. It's just boom, boom, boom. Oh, I love it. And again, um, when I was comparing those uh, pepper plants that are on the crack key table, let me get out of the light. Um, Look how small they are in, in the soil. And I could probably transplant these into the yard 
Um, I'd rather try to, uh, and I do plan on transplanting the peppers. I want that to be part of the edible garden um, because peppers are more bush-like, less plant-like. Well, I can't say less plant-like. It is a plant. Durr. Uh, <laughs> silly me. Um, <clears throat> less vegetable plant-like, okay? Because the vegetable plants, they'll support themselves, but they don't stay year-round. Whereas a pepper plant, especially the hot peppers, that's more like a bush. Um, so... I'm going to plant those in the yard as part of a uh, edible garden. And again, the zucchini is trying to shadow all of the other plants. This poor guy is still struggling to get all of his um, needs for sunlight. And some of my tomatoes were having problems. I had to trim back a couple of leaves off my cucumbers and my zucchini to allow my tomatoes to continue to grow now look how much taller it is wasn't it this tall yesterday and poof, 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 poof. But yeah oh gosh it's gonna be another hot day um it plans on raining later in the week so i'm not trying to add any water to the tables of the reserve barrels um but uh, I'm having a little bit of issue making sure that the water level in table number one stays high enough. I did have to add some water to both barrels because... <coughs> Excuse me. Because um, they're getting a little low. Which, of course, causes the water on the table to get low because it kind of balances itself out after a little while um, the first uh, week that I had the ta tables up and operating I did have to adjust the drain valves and I was adjusting the pump valves too until I got rid of the tower and uh, changed over this piping I haven't had an issue really uh, since draining I just have to tweak the valve a little bit to um, get it to slow, slower draining. You can see it's not exactly flush horizontally. Um, and it seems to be keeping enough water in there as long as I keep the water in the barrel uh, at a certain level. So that's it for today, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, like, subscribe. I'm going to keep updating you um, I think I did a pretty ingenious system here based on all the research that I, I spent a year researching I was actually going to do uh, aquaponics um, but I've never really had an aquarium so I'm not that familiar in raising fish and I didn't want to um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to have to deal with that right now. This is my first hydroponics um, growing. I used to do raised beds or in the ground. Getting a little too old for that. Um, so yeah, the gray-haired old lady <laughs> who dyes her hair blue and black. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, so um, yeah, look, they're growing right out of the shade cloth. Like, the other side is growing up there and it's probably going to end, I don't know, maybe they'll trail up to the, the sunlight in the crack on the shade cloth there. Um, this is, I don't think this is a bad attempt, especially being as um, aggressive with the different type of uh, plants that I'm planting. Um, enjoy. I do have a lot more landscaping to go as soon as we start eating some of this goodness and I think we're going to have salad tonight. Look at this. Look at the lettuce. Oh my God. Since Monday, look at the lettuce. I've got full heads of lettuce. Wow. Okay. So, um, enjoy. Have a happy day. <laughs>